Hell again there, you two fans. This is the real creepy doll man here. I'm back with an all new episode, but it's not a normal episode or a double episode or a triple episode. This is a quadruple episode. So, what that means, a real creepy doll man will work four times as hard for all you two fans and all you diehard real creepy doll man fans from around the world. It's May the 28th of 2020. Time is now 10 35 p.m. Yeah, the real creepy doll man decided to bring this doll back, but I decided to remove the beanie like the uh, toboggan he had on. So now it looks totally different. Now I'm going to explain the origins where this doll originally came from. Before I bought this doll, it was owned and purchased by Heidi Smith. Now Heidi bought it off the Goodwill auction online site, and she got it from the auction site, off the Goodwill site. And she only paid like fourteen dollars, and she she got it by December the the twenty fifth of two thousand nineteen, and it was listed on her it was listed on the baby doll with blonde hair and red eyes. And now this is not the original outfit it had on, because she had changed it, and it had red on its outfit. It's like a jumpsuit it had on or. Or a little sleeper suit. Now, I have purchased it, excuse me, off a certain site that she was selling on. And I didn't go to the one that was listed on Instit, or it's called Instit, or Estet. I can't pronounce it right. Estet or Estet. And I didn't go to that site. It's sort of like an eBay site, but a different name. Estet or Estet. And I went to the other site she had it listed on. But on the estate site, she had it listed on her Red Eye Zombie Baby Doll. And I got off the other site, which was actually Offered Up site. And it was listed as Red Eye Baby Girl Doll. So the outfit on it was totally the same on both sites. But this outfit was changed. Dude, I guess she decided. But the pants... Actually, are definitely the same, but the rest of the outfit was changed. And uh, they're supposed to have the Halloween ordeal on her little pants, on her tights. But, you know, I decided to get this. It was really a listed for $20, but and it was over 30 some dollars $30.99. Well, my sister went back. Rebecca got it for me all the... Uh, Offered up site, and she said there was a discount on it, so it was fifteen dollars all, and shipping and all total was about twenty five dollars and ninety nine cents. So I gave borrowed some money, gave her twenty six dollars to get the doll. It is now in the real creepy doll man's possession, and he owns this doll. It I'm gonna explain something. What happened after I got the doll? The eyes were much lighter than this, even lighter than what you see now. And I can tell you, they're not doing what they're supposed to do. The eyes were completely different. They changed in totally. I watched and seen the eyes change. One side of the eyes a lot darker, but I noticed another change. There was red forming down the side of the inside of the eye towards the white part of the eye. Making it look sort of bloodshot. And I went back to look again the second time after taking open the box. It's totally changed. It's uh, gotten a much redder on this one side over here. As you can see in the video, I don't think you see it real good. It's giving the doll sort of a bloodshot look to the eye. And I know it's at the top of the red of the eye is quite slightly, but definitely faded. In a way, I don't know if they're painted or not. Or this is a, a paranormal supernatural thing going on with the eyes. Meaning, is the eyes actually changing? And as it's changing, is there some paranormal supernatural thing going on with the doll? Meaning, could it be a haunted spirit, or could it be possessed by an evil spirit or demonic spirit? It's hard to tell. I will have to further investigate the doll, but it is in the real creepy doll man's possession. And I do own the doll. <clears throat> it's the only doll that's totally different from other dolls. It looks more like a real baby doll in a way, but it has blonde hair, and this is real like real hair in a way. 
you know, it's artificial. It's uh, all made of nylon is all the hair is. But, yeah, as you know, it looks really nice. And I do have the beanie that's on the bed. It had a pink little hat on it. It's a beanie-like hat. More like a toboggan. But it was very nice. So the real creepy doll man has kept his doll. And I'll keep a closer eye on it. But there was something weird going on with the doll when I first got the doll. I had put it on the floor within the box. And I don't know if my nephew, Connor, he's only three years old, has been in my room or not. But it'll be hard to knock over the dolls dead in the, near the back of the ordeal in the middle of the center of it. But they fell over somewhere. And they fell over right over here. And I never seen nothing like that happen before. As they fell, it took a few dolls with it. But the Rapunzel doll on the, near the close near the front where the Angel doll is on the floor over here didn't fall over. Which is weird. So something going on in this ordeal. I'll have to further investigate to see if there may be psychic you know, activity going on with this doll. Meaning could it move objects? We don't know. I'll have to look further into it to find out and keep a monitor on the doll and maybe do maybe a e e m v uh e m e m f reader type or k two meter thing reading on the doll to see if there's any real activity going on. If it shows any sign of life, I will let the fans know and record it for you. This is the real creepy doll man saying to all the fans out there. Goodbye and God bless you all.